questioning. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees, with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond sector C, you will need to return to the central transit hub in area nine and board a high security train. not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system.
Alexa has her course to Catalan. We'll commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level three facility. The semi-finals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives than your own may depend on your fitness. materials in the course of your duties. Contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that stuff, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. What are you doing still running around up here? 
Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Good morning, there Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. Can you access the mail server? Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes. I'll choke on that. Gonna get me one of them jumbo size red grape sodas. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, I'm working up a mean hunger just thinking about it. Mmm, mmm. What a rudder. Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Good morning, Gordon. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? Somebody get me a calculator. Still studying paleomathematics, eh? Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! 
Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Hello, Dr. Cross. Hello, Dr. Cross. Hello, Dr. Cross. No, no, no. Don't fool yourself, Oscar. Ah, Dr. Cross, fancy seeing you here. I'm rather busy now. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Can this wait till I'm off break? Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Because, uh, that was, um, that was you-know-who's lunch. You better make like a busboy and get the fork out of here. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? <sighs> Drat. No toilet paper. Thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, it was more. Please. 
later, Gordon. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Hi, Gordon. It's nothing to worry about. It. I've got this under control, Gordon. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the frequency. What's up, Doc? I assure you, we compensated for any contingency. Hello, Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Most of the simulation results... Greetings, Eli! You know. Morning, Izzy. I trust this Shut morning up. finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes... They're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. This could take a bit longer. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha, huh. don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. 
I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Long. Long. 
Listen, I, I tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat, he's alive. Gordon, thank God for that hazard suit. All the fall drowned. I can't reach anyone in the facility. You need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is <laughs> My God, what have we done? Fascinating. Would you look at that? We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scan. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? What an interesting interior. I wonder where its stomach is. Uh, hello? Ooh, you certainly went out, don't you? My, you're a cute little thing, aren't you? I'd almost hate to have to dissect one of these. I've got to find some place safe for Isaac, so I can go find my family. I fear the worst.
Gordon? Gordon! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? I got your back. Aim for that head thing! Body back home is gonna believe this. Well, you get points for trying. This place is in bad shape. Let me get out of your way. Ha! Bullseye! Ah! This shit is something out of a sci-fi. Excuse me. while I reload. Be careful in there, Doc.
get any worse than this. Or can it? Okay, Doc. Grab what you gotta grab, but don't dawdle. Oh! I'll secure this area. Yeah, let's go. You feeling lucky? Sector C, anomalous materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation here. Possible biocontaminations. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? This is Sector C. Come on, you bastard. Pick up! Anybody out there?
Thank God! Listen, I know where you can find some more... weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Onward! Haven. So, oh. well, at any rate, over there's the weapons I spoke of. I've had my fill for excitement today. Um... You're welcome to stay, if you want. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. It's probably safer over here.
Gordon, is that you? Is it safe? Ah! Oh, oh dear. I do believe I, I soiled myself. Um, run along, Freeman. I've some sordid business to attend to.
Hello? Who's there? known it was you, I would have let you in. Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey! Hey, over here! One of these little buggers latched onto my buddy's head. We gotta get that thing off before... Hey! Good news! Help justify. Wait! Thanks. I owe you one. Uh, here, let me get this open. I, uh... I got some supplies in the back. If you want, uh... Go take a look-see. See what you can carry. I, uh, I heard screams up ahead. Uh, you first. This is my little corner, and I'm sticking to it. I'm ready. Let's do this before I lose my nerve. Nice shot. Looks like the cockroaches have competition. Let me get out of your way here. Oh shit, not I good. got you! I got you! Holy shit! That thing tore them to pieces! 
I don't think we should stick around. I just overheard a secure access transmission. Soldiers have arrived. They're coming to rescue us. Of course, I have my doubts that we'll live long enough to greet them. It's probably safer over here. What are you still doing down here? Get topside. I hear troops are coming in to save us. Let's get the hell out of here. That's right, child time's over.
Let me get out of your way. Sorry, Freeman.
heavens! You gave me quite a scare! Don't count on the cavalry finding us down here, Doc. We gotta head for the surface. But, with all the elevators out of order... We can still climb. Sorry, Doc. Aim for the head! Where is it? Catch a break? Fantastic! There's no way I can make that jump across that shaft. I failed physical education. Guess that means I'm playing babysitter. for us! It's our only way out! Oh my god! We're doomed! The tension is announcement system now under military command.
Careful. Don't cross the beams. I'll gladly help in any way that I can, but I'll let you know I was always last pick in gym class. Rescued at last! Thank God you're here! No! 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 